Jerry, how are you feeling? Yeah, good, good. I think we're all set. We're just uh, probably about an hour away from sending appetizers. So. So can you give us a little hint as to what's on the menu tonight? Yeah, we've got, um, I think the, ma the main thing I've been working on today is uh, venison. Um, so we've got smoked venison. It's a dish that I've done in the, the finals of MasterChef. So, and it's the first time I've done it since. Isn't the smoked venison? Smoked venison. Um, we've got carrots three ways. When you won the Master Chef, yeah. you did a dish, something with razor clams. That's right. Okay. Yeah. It's so easy to screw them up. It really is. Yeah. What is it that, that makes them perfect? I think yeah, it's, it's cooking time has got to be perfect. Like most seafood, you know, you're cooking it by the minute. Mm -hmm. I think with uh, clams, you're cooking it by the second. You know, you've right. got to get the timers on and right. start off really hot pan and just really respect the fact that these these little creatures cook really quick. So. Right. You have five kids. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you're talking, This you, could, you have to get creative in the kitchen when you have five kids, and you're working with a budget, too. So how do you do Give us a couple of hints as to how you feed a family of five on a budget. Um, well, I'm really lucky that my wife's a chef as well, so... That's right. Um, I, think, I think it's been organized, it really is. You know, if you go home at night and you open the fridge to look for your dinner, mm -hmm. you've failed. You know, mm -hmm. you need to be organized, you have to plan it, you have to... And I do all my cooking one night, you know, I get... I get all prepared, all organised, ready for the whole week. Always one of those. You know, so I get the music on, I'll have all the wine, and it's a real, I really enjoy it. It's a oh. really good night in, I turn it into a real positive. And then it means, you know, we're busy, we've got a son at university, and I've got two kids in nursery. So we've got a massive kind of change of uh, times that people are in. So my right. kids can come in, they can get fresh food, they can get a pot. Oh, and, that's great. You know, so it's very rare that the seven of us are around the table at the same time. It sounds like your kitchen is like mine. There's a theatre going on. And what kitchen doesn't have theatre, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You have to have some I enjoy it, I enjoy it. I mean, I enjoy cooking at home as much as I do, you know, yeah. in, in professional kitchens. So, but the same rules apply. You have to be yeah. organised. Throughout my career, I've sort of conceived and opened and ran about 80 different restaurants, all different concepts based on where they are and, and what's needed in that particular area and budget and all that sort of stuff. Um, and, and great success, but sometimes restaurants don't work. Exactly. And you know, with all my experience and all my uh, knowledge of opening restaurants and looking at sites, you know, I still can't figure out why sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> so it's uh, seven day a week. It is. You know, 15 hours a day, it's heart, it's heart and soul. Yeah. If you're looking to invest money, to make money, don't do it in a restaurant. <laughs> It's hard so. That's a big, big, yeah. big hint right it's there. Tough, you have tough. to have, it's a labor of love as we yeah. know it, Anything right? to do with food, you know, whether it's Glasgow, whether it's New York, it's right. tough, tough, tough. You've been the master chef for almost four months now. Yeah. A little time to digest. So, what, where's your mind at now? What's next? I mean, how can you talk that? I'm doing loads of stuff at the minute. Um, last week I was in Singapore. So I was out doing some wow. stuff there, doing loads of pop-ups. I've got a TV show starting. Oh, do you um, have any hints? Yeah, it's BBC. I've asked me to go present one of their shows. So, oh, that's great. Um, which is a different sort of slant to what I've done before. Okay. Um, doing a lot of food festivals and doing loads of pop-ups. Mm -hmm. Pop-ups uh, are good. Pop that sell out instantly, um, yeah. which is amazing. Um, I'm, doing, I'm doing a lot of food festivals and a lot of demonstrations as well. So. And so tonight, what are we, what are we going to give us a little bit about what's on the menu? What we're doing is we've got a, a selection of Scottish dishes, we've got a smoked mackerel, mm -hmm. we've got some amazing sea trout from located in Scotland. <laughs> you know, we're very lucky here that the chef is from Great Britain, so he really understands, yes. you know, Scottish food and, and he's really passionate about great produce, so mm -hmm. um, it's been very, very easy to come in and, and, and work with the team here. That's One last thing that yeah. I need before I leave here tonight is... I need the recipe for the razor clams. No problem. I need the recipe. I can sort that out for you. Uh -huh. So we can like it's maybe... It's a timer you need. Get a timer. I... <laughs>